So I like to make myself available to you. And with that being said, I get a lot of DMs from you guys. And a lot of you slide up in there and drop me some, well, interesting messages to say the least. However, one of the most prevailing messages that I get from so many of you around the world is, you know, what are my personal favorite guns? Or specifically, since a lot of people know that I'm a gas blowback aficionado, what are my favorite gas blowback rifles? With that said, I felt like, well, no time like the present. At this time of the year, I felt like it was a good opportunity for me to share with you something a little personal. My personal list of 10 of the best guns, gas airsoft guns, you can buy for 2022. Now, none of these are particularly like new or reinventing the wheel by any stretch of the imagination. These are just some of my personal favorites. So I've listed them in no particular order of importance. That said, number 10. Number 10, the Archwick L119A2. Now, during the 2019 tragic attack at Nairobi's Dusit D2 complex in Kenya, photos surfaced of a heroic SAS operator rushing in with his rifle to neutralize several terrorists. After the incident, there has been a renewed fascination with the SAS's L119A2 rifle, the same one used by said operator. The one we have in this list today is a fully licensed example from Archwick. The gun uses a base GHK system for exceptional gas efficiency, accuracy, and performance. Not only is this gun going to be a great shooter for those looking for a fantastic GBBR, that can also serve as an homage to someone who acted selflessly to save others. Number nine, Cybergun FN Scar H. To this day, I still hold this gun in very high regard after I first reviewed it so many years ago. And after it being out for some time, it's really only gotten better. Now that there are so many more aftermarket parts for it, like rail extensions, different stock options, and so much more, the Scar H is the best scar in my opinion. Sorry, Scar L guys. I know, the truth hurts. The best part about this gun was its mind boggling gas efficiency, all the while serving up some pretty hard recoil. Number eight, the GHK AKM GBBR. All right, all right, okay. I am not an AK user or fan by any stretch of the imagination, but there is more to the story. I do actually enjoy shooting these bad boys. As a matter of fact, the GHK AKM is probably one of the most fun AK gas airsoft rifles to shoot. Another great reason why is that this is one of my favorites is there's so many accessories available for it now, making it a very viable option for someone who wants to dress up their guns so it doesn't feel like it's stuck in the 50s. Okay, I know, I know, Just laugh at me in the comments. Number seven, PSG-1. If you're a gas blowback aficionado like myself, you are also addicted to the recoil and the realism. The PSG-1 has both of these in spades. I always love to make mention as to how it's such a dream come true to so many longtime airsoft players. But personally, for me, I love it because of how fun it is to shoot. It's one of those guns you feel like you can shoot and no matter how far your target is, you're always gonna manage to hit it. It's confidence inspiring, it's accurate. And when you're scoped in behind it, you just feel so invincible. Number six, the GHK Mark 18. I think you don't have to be an AR guy or an M4 guy to see that there's a charm about the Mark 18. Something about its special forces mystique, its tan colored Daniel Defense rail, and surprisingly infinite ways to have it set up. The Mark 18 is just like the cool guy of the AR world. Like I previously mentioned about the L119A2, the GHK system is ready to go straight out of the box and will absolutely put a smile on your face every time you pull that trigger. There are also quite a few other third-party manufacturers out there that make accessories for the GHK platform, such as Z Parts and of course, Angry Gun. Number five, Umarex G3A3. This thing? is a beast. While it's never been a gun I particularly fancied before being able to play with it, it was after I got to shoot it and spend some time with it that I realized it's been missing from my life all this time. 
The G3 is a rifle that really draws you in and you can easily get immersed into feeling like you're handling a real steel firearm. Everything about this gun's design and engineering was geared towards realism. Things like the dry firing function, its robust charging handle that you can slap, and how they move the gas injection valve away from where you can see it are all small touches that contribute to make this gun a more fun platform to shoot. Number four, this one, I'm pretty sure so many of you guys would not have seen coming. Number four is the Tokyo Marui AKM GBBR. The TM AKM, the newest kit on the block, man, I had my doubts. And at the end of the day, it was pretty good. Okay, did I think the faux wood on the gun did, did it any favors? Me thinks not. But my God, did it shoot well. I just wanted to keep shooting it. And it just kept chugging along, no matter if I was shooting it at semi or full auto. You know, I can talk about this gun's performance and how it shoots until the cows come home. But what I think is the best, most beautiful part of this gun is its pistol grip. In the review, I dedicated a whole section talking about it. And it just has to be said, it's like the cherry on the top of an already great shooting gas airsoft rifle. Number three, Tokyo Marui Type 89 JGSDF Gas Blowback Rifle. If you don't know what the Type 89 is, it's the current standard issue of the Japanese Self-Defense Force. Being the country's gun, Tokyo Marui absolutely knocked it out of the park when they brought this gas rifle to market. Its controls are interesting, which is an understatement, but it's refreshing to shoot, something that's not an AK or an AR. It's pretty snappy and really accurate and even comes with a bipod if you feel like you wanna take precision shots. But more importantly, this is going to be the only way that you'll ever get your hands on a Type 89. So if you're a gun collector, one of these, you definitely don't wanna pass up. Number two, the VFC BCM MCMR GBBR. I think as a gun that you can just buy and have shipped to you, the VFC BCM MCMR is probably the best looking rifle on this whole entire list by a mile. Its full suite of BCM accessories are great to the touch. The gun handles really nimbly and its shooting impulse is just wonderful. Probably my favorite feature about the gun is the redesigned fire control and trigger system. Fewer parts and how it's designed allows the hammer to knock the magazine release valve more consistently. All of these are contributing factors to make the trigger feel like a custom trigger, but it's stock. If you want realism, this is it. This is one of the best, if not the best, VFC gas rifles I've ever shot. Number one. It's ironic that I have this particular gun as the number one spot at just kind of how the cookie crumbled. The Tokyo Marui M4 MWS gas blowback rifle. The MWS really is a gun designed for maximum performance. The MWS is probably one of the most gas efficient guns on our list and enjoys undoubtedly the widest array of upgrade parts. Much like so many other TM products, they are like chameleons. You can upgrade them and tune them to however you want them to look and shoot. Furthermore, the MWSs come with Sarah-coated finishes done to them, making them more robust and safe against the elements than many others on our list. If you wanna watch any of the videos used in the making of this particular video, you can click on the card above or you can find them all listed in the description below. Whew, I really enjoyed doing this list because it was something that I could kind of search within my heart to see what are some of my favorite guns to share with you. And seeing that so many of you do indeed ask me these questions almost on a semi-daily basis, well, I felt like now would be a high time to uh, do a video for you guys. Which ones did you like the most that I've listed? What are some of your favorite gas blowback rifles? And do you, I don't know why you would, but if you would like to chat with me, you can always follow me on my social media accounts as well, Facebook and Instagram, links are in the description. Hit me up, we can always talk shop. And with all that said, if you saw any of the cool products on this video, go to our online store and www.rofarisoft.com. If you like this video, give us a like. If you thought it was cool, share it with your friends. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. Guys, until the next video,
キャッチナイフさん Your light is gone, and all the darkness fills my heart.